Did you know that the associative property does not work with subtraction? The associative property of addition allows us to regroup add-ins, and the sum will be the same. If we're adding 37 plus 16, we add them first because they're in parentheses, and then we add 4. But it can be regrouped as adding the 16 and 4 together first because they're more compatible. 16 and 4 are more compatible to add together first. We're going to get a 20. Then we can add the 37, and we can do mental math, and that's 57. The associative property of multiplication allows us to regroup factors, and the product will be the same. If we have 14 times 5 in parentheses, so we should do this first and then multiply it by 2, we can regroup it as 5 times 2 and do this first and get a 10, then multiply it by 14, which is 140. So 5 and 2 are more compatible to multiply together first, but the associative property does not work with subtraction. If we have 12 minus 8 in parentheses, well, that's 4. Then we subtract the 1, we get a 3. If we change the grouping and do 8 minus 1 first, this part, we're going to get a 7. Then when we do 12 minus 7, we're going to get a 5. So we get different answers when we regroup subtraction. So it doesn't work. Associative property does not work with subtraction. We're going to get a different answer. For addition and multiplication, we got the same answers. We'll try it again. We can subtract 50 minus 10. That's a 40. Then we subtract the 5. We get a 35. If we change the grouping so that we subtract the 10 minus 5 first, that's going to give us a 5. Then when we do 50 minus 5, we're going to get a 45. Completely different answer. So, the associative property does not work with subtraction. It works with addition and multiplication, but not subtraction. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you in next video. Bye.